everyone, Retro Robbie here with another break. And yes, you see it there. It's Repacks Wax Vintage Baseball Cards. So I am dipping into the well again. My my video on this, on the full box, was uh, pretty successful. So what I decided to do was, some people said I was hard on them. But man, I got those awful 71s and... Take a look at my videos, especially part two, and you'll see those awful 71s that were just worthless. So I kind of was hesitant, but they gave me a coupon, and I, I decided to take them up. They didn't have a full box, but they had half boxes, which are 18 packs, as you can see. So there's 15 cards per pack, um, so I decided to jump at it again, see if they can redeem themselves um i also they gave me a coupon i think they must have known that they gave me some crappy 70 ones because uh they also showed me uh their 70s are out and i bought that so look for that the repacks wax in the 70s i did buy two boxes of that as well so we'll be opening that on the channel here as well so but let's break into this let's see if they can redeem themselves i'm hoping so because i like the premise of this I think a lot of people do too, and but you know when you see those seventy ones, they kind of scare the bejesus out of people. And they just don't want to get involved in that, and I don't blame them. I'm kind of the same way, but I love to see more like this because, like I said, you can't open packs up from the sixties or seventies and all that, and you know you can buy them one at a time, but that's time consuming and costly. I think this is a good alternative, and. I love opening stuff up, and I love opening vintage retro stuff. So let's get in, let's get right into it. There it is. We've seen it before. Um, we will see more of this. I'm going to put that in the corner so I can put the hits over here. Uh, let's start right off. So this one's not too waxy, so that's a good start. And again, one thing I've always said is a plus for these guys is, you know, they put the stick they put a sticker and all that all that right there so it's kind of nice it protects the wax so here's the first card it's a kmart anniversary card oh my gosh uh this takes me back i actually have this set um i bought it way back in the day in 1982 i remember that as a kid buying that i still have that pack um they're not that expensive they made a lot of them um, unless it's gone up since I've last seen them, but you know, it's kind of cool. K Kmart 20th anniversary, Joe Morgan. There's the back. Um, like I said, I, I actually own this set <laughs> for when Kmart was around. Now you'd be lucky. It's harder to find the uh, actual Kmart that's still around than it is the cards. <laughs> so let's keep going. Hey, that's a nice one. Eh, 87 Fleer, Benito Santiago. Very nice. There is a 86 Fleer, Scott Blankhead. A lot of Fleers in this one. That's 82, Steve Stacks. He follows me around in these, so not surprised there. First uh, older vintage, 1978, Brian... Asseltine. Uh, corners are eh, fair. I've seen 78s in better shape than that, but oh well. Uh, Will Clark from 1991. There's that. Uh, the, the 92 Bowmans, Ricky Gutierrez. So I'll see a lot of those too as well. Rookie class from Upper Deck Collector's Choice, Jose Pianaga, I know I'm curling that, from the Expos, 1997. Another Expos there, Hori Vidro, that's tops. That is 1990, or 2000, sorry, 2000. Uh, oh, full Bowman's, this is, uh, these are the 1990s. The 89s were the longer ones, and this was the 90s. They made a ton of those, so not much of those. 89 Fleer, Phil Bradley. 86 Wade Boggs, not too bad. That's a nice one. We'll take that. 84 uh, Dunross. Those are nice. I love to get that set. Uh, um, Off-centered. Dave Stewart, but that's a good card to get. Yeah, I like that. And then the final, oh, final two, uh, Terry Kennedy. Uh, 1980 from the Cardinals. That one's in good shape. So I'll set that other side. And Royce Clayton from Upper Deck. So 
keep on going. This one's, you know, half the box, so it's kind of a neat little break. You can, you know, get a good sampling of here. Ew, started up with the Tigers there. 1986 Fleer, Walt Terrell. So very nice. Uh, Alex Fernandez, future is now. Uh, so it's 1994 Upper Deck. 82 Fleer, Steve Trout, and a nice 84 Dunross, Reggie Jackson. Very nice. I'll take that one. That's in good shape, too. I love, like I said, love the 84 Dunross. It's, it's a harder set to get. They made, didn't make as many, and the photography is really good on 80, 84 Dunross. So if you get a chance, get a pack of those. But, man, they are expensive. They were expensive back in the day because they just didn't make as many as... Uh, Fleer and Tops for that year for some reason. I think uh, the rumor had it they had a production problem, so they stopped uh, like midway through, so there's not as many. Um, I think they had a paper issue. If I recall the story from years ago, Henry Mullins and a nice Ken Griffey Jr. there. So that is Home Run Heroes. That looks like an insert. So I'll be showing you the prices on some of these so you get a good hint of what they are and if I got a good value on this box. But that one's a good one. Uh, it's an insert, definitely, HR9. So uh, definitely an insert there, and you can kind of feel the, the rays of the bats there. So very nice. Uh, another upper deck there from the Twins. And a very stained... <laughs> What the heck? Stain 77, Vern Rule. Ah, uh, it's too bad. It's stained. Uh, the corner. Oh, yeah, that's a beat up card. Whoa. There's creases, stain, bent corner. That is a worthless 77. Unfortunate, because uh, that was a tiger. Um, Jackson Todd, 81 tops. Sandy Elmar Jr. from 89 Fleer. Uh, Alex Cole, 91 tops. Rudy Law, 87, Dunross, 88, John Cruck. Uh, oh, sucking your card. And those dreaded 91 Bowmans. And then last one is Leaf, the Hal Morris. So, again, starting out with mixed feelings. Like I said, you do get some good hits. Like the Ken Griffey Jr. there. That's, that's not bad. Or that Reggie Jackson, 84. I personally like that one. So, But then you get <laughs> the dreaded... Uh, 77 with stains and bent corners. So there's 91 down Ross, Terry Leach. Uh, 86, uh, Dave, uh, yeah, 86, Dave Swam. And there, okay, that, so there is a 71 that is in good shape. I, I mean, there's minor issues with it, but that's not a bad card of Mike Nagy from the Boston Red Sox. There's the back, 363, so a little higher series. Uh, that's not bad. That is worth the point album. Yeah, those two corners, but for a 71, they were so condition sensitive. It's better than those other ones I got. So I have to admit, that one is not that bad. I keep going here. Neil Allen, 1980, and that one's a decent one, too. Uh, Donald Harris, uh, 92, upper deck. Score select, Corey Snyder. Looks like he's jumping up in the air. 87 tops, Alfredo Lopez, X Tiger there. Uh, Dean Palmer for the Royals, upper deck. Nolan Ryan, 92 Fleer. I remember that card very well. well. There's the back of that. I do remember. It's a part of the regular series. Not that much, but it's a nice little card to get. Uh, German Riviera, 1985 tops. Yep, 1985. Uh, Postseason Penny. Pinches, Yankees, Tops. Uh, is this 2002? I think it's 2002. 2004. I was off. Like I said, the newer ones get me. I'm, I'm a retro guy, so I know the older stuff. Uh, there's Leaf there, Gary Gaetti, Rudy May, 1982 Fleer, Dave Maglin, that's uh, 89 Dunross, and then Josh Beckwith, Fleer Ultra. Uh, prospect, so that's a rookie card. And that is 1999. So I remember Josh Beckett. So very nice. Uh, all right. Got the first three down. Let's keep going. Ooh, this one's a little more waxier. There we go. All right. What do you think? I'm still, again, I I love the concept. I wish the little cards were a little bit better. But overall, I can't complain. If 
I do, it won't get me anywhere, that's for sure. Hey, you start with the Phillies. That's Upper Deck right there. Uh, Eddie Murray, that's 1991 Upper Deck. So two Upper Decks. Uh, 1980 there, Alex Trevino. Let's look at that. There's a couple soft corners. Overall, not horrible. Uh, Wayne Krakowski, 85 tops. Uh, Bobby Bonilla, there's a 1993 Pacific. I do not know much about that one, so... Um, so there you go. There's that one. Like I said, is that even? That says Mets. Janeiro. I don't know. It must be a Spanish, Spanish card or something. Ooh, nice. Roger Clemens, 1987. If you recall my last box, I got two Roger Clemens rookie cards. I uh, one from Dunruss, one from Tops. This one's in '87, so it's a couple years, but it's in good shape actually. So that's not bad. Ah, uh, let's see, Electric Diamond. So the, I believe this is a parallel. Uh, I believe it is. I'll look it up, but I guarantee you that's a parallel. Um, so very nice. There's the back of Jeff Blauser from the Braves. I can almost guarantee you that is a parallel, like they did with the Tops Gold and all that. I think Upper Deck did the Diamonds. 1974, Jose Cruz. It's... Not in the best condition. Average. Gordon Thomas, 1981 Tops. Kevin Elster, 92 Fleer. Another Nolan Ryan. Uh, this is 1990 Tops. Um, not a bad one. You know, there's always value in Nolan Ryan, so you can never get angry if you get a Nolan Ryan, no matter how old it is. You know, during 1990, getting all his career achievements there. So 1986, Doug Drebeck. Daryl Strawberry, 88, Fleer. There's a 91, Mike Aldre, and Mel Hall uh, from 89 score. Uh, there we go. So I think my oldest one's at 71 so far. So nothing too outrageous yet. So hopefully we can get something good. Oh, got an upside down there. Ryan Sandberg, there we go. That's a nice one. 92. OPG upper deck. I know they made a lot of those, so I know there's not going to be huge value in that, but I like that one. It's Ryan Sandberg for the Cubs. Rico Brogda. I remember him from the Tigers. He didn't mount to much, but yep, Tigers. And that is 1991 upper deck. Steve Lombardozzi, 87 Dunruss. And 1985 Dunruss. Garcia. 84 Randy Moffitt. At least I'm getting a lot of 84 Donrosses in, in this in this uh, box. Kind of like that. 99 Donruss, Kevin Mitchell. Oh, there's a 74, Ted Kubek. And not in good shape. It is bent eight ways over. Bent there, curved there. Not good. I mean, I get that, you know, the 70s are harder. But, man, if you can get in a decent shape, one or two, I'd be happier. I uh, 82 Fleer, Woody Fryman, and that's a 92, Tom Goodwin, 74, Paul Splitoff, and it's not horrible, it's passable condition. Ozzy Smith from score of 89, Wayne Gross, 86, Dunross, and 77 tops, this must be my curse here because another 77. That was in horrible condition. Look at the back corners. Another stain. Uh, he must have got it from the same collection because that is in horrible condition. That's too bad. That's his rookie card. He was a decent pitcher for for them. Uh, and a heart. He was a good pitcher for many years. Uh, too bad. 82, Jenny Grubb. Uh, and then uh, score there, 95, Kenny Lawson. Oh, that's a nice pitcher there. All right. Number six, I believe. Let's take a peek here. Let's see right there. Oh, nice. Start off with a 1986 Lance Parrish from the Detroit Tigers. Like that one. I'll keep that one for sure. Um, star rookies, Jeff Granger. Uh, that was uh, 94. 94 upper deck. Yes, it is 94 upper deck. Well, there's that one. 
Um, 82 Tom Griffin, Steve Garvey, 1984 Don Ross. Very nice, you know, semi star player there. Very nice. Like I said, the photos back then, the 84s, man, Don Ross were sharp. They were great photos. This is a great set to get. I really got a complete one. I know I don't have an 84. I started really collecting Dunross in like 86. So I always had some, but not enough. And there is the 92 Bowman, Donald Harris, and a lot of those cards had the, the early 90s fashion there. And there you go. Another fashion show courtesy of Donald Harris. <laughs> That's too funny. Uh, Steve Garvey. This is a Steve Garvey pack. 1986 tops there so this is the steve garvey pack so not bad randy johnson very nice uh that's 89 i think that's his rookie card yeah it is rookie card of uh no that's not his rookie card that no because he's in arizona but fool me there stop fooling me it's a reprint it's o2 the reprints of basing it on the 89 upper deck so Got me fooled there. Nah, should have caught that quicker. But that is a reprint. This probably was an insert pack. There's another dreaded 77. This one's not horrible. Uh, I guess it is. There's a big old crease right there. Duffy Dyer, 77 tops. Too bad. Ugh, man. Just burn another Gordon Thomas. <laughs> All right, stop repeating the same card over and over again, people. Another 81 Gordon Thomas. Uh, Greg Harris, 89 Fleer. There's Rick Sutcliffe, 91 tops. Mickey Tilton, 80 some Dunross. Manny Trio, 88 Dunross. Uh, Dreaded 91 Jack Howells and Tim Poo. Uh, that is. Uh, Leaf of 1993. So, man, I mean, if you're going to give me some of these cards, uh, it just makes me sad. All right. All right. Let's get into the next pack here. Wow. But, quarter of the way through, let's see what we get. That one is Upper Deck. Another one from Overdeck 91. Uh, 1980, Rick Sutcliffe. And hey, that one's in decent shape, actually. So very nice. I like that one. That one we had there, 1980, Rick Sutcliffe. Uh, 85 tops, Tom Model. And, and Vince Coleman, that 93 Pacific. So I'm kind of getting that set there. Uh, the Hispanic set, it looks like. Uh, 1987, Dunrust, Jody Davis. And uh, I think it's another one of those uh, diamond ones. Yep, electric diamonds. Uh, is that Travis Fryman? Yes, man, those are hard to read. They're all sparkly there. But it is Travis Fryman from the Detroit Tigers. Very nice, 1994. I'll set that aside. I think those were the insert ones. I'm not 100% sure, but I'll double check them. 1974, Chuck Goggin. Uh, that one's an average. There's all the corners are all rounded, so not the best shape, unfortunately. 1981 Art Howe. That one's in decent shape. Be able to keep that one. Uh, Daryl Boston from 1992 Fleer. And we got one of those weird ones. Moo Town Snackers. Ken Griffey Jr. Autograph Series. I see all back. There it is. I don't know what year that is. I've never seen that. Oh, 92. So it expired in 92. I don't know. It's kind of, that's a weird one. But it's Ken Griffey Jr. So probably one that is a Ken Griffey Jr. fan would collect that. We'll have to look that one up. Looks like 92. Uh, 86, Dunross, Mookie Wilson, Mike Heath from the Tigers, 88, Fleer, 91, Tops, Dennis Cook, and the last one is Daryl Strawberry from 89, uh, Score. Oh, very nice. Got some different ones in there, that's for sure. Oh, this one's waxed. All right, there we go. Going through here. All right, see, I always get them upside down and backwards. Lance Blankenship, 90 score. Frank Thomas, the big hurt. 
Very nice car there. That's a good picture there. Uh, that's a 92 uh, tops there. Very nice. There's the back of that one. It's the third year. Another Nolan Ryan, the Idols from Pinnacle. So very nice. 92, I believe. So it was uh, Jim Abbott's idol. It was Nolan Ryan. He's everyone's idol, man. That guy ruled. Uh, this one's a Sports Illustrated Fleer. Paul Mondesi from the Dodgers. I don't know much about that one. Fleer 98. Where's that one? Mickey Brantley, 87 Fleer. And those studio cards, I never cared for those. I mean, yeah. I don't know why in the early 90s they always had to do fashion statements. I don't know what was up with that, but that's Bit Roberts. Um, there's a 84 Dunross. I'm liking that I'm getting a lot of 84 Dunrosses. I really like those. Bob Gibson, from Milwaukee Brewers. Uh, this is Leaf. I believe it's 91. 92, sorry. 92. Goose Gossage. 89 upper deck from the Cubs wearing the helmet there even though he's a pitcher probably was batting very nice card there I like that one uh upper deck Aaron Boone yeah that one is upside down and that is a rookie prospect of Damon Buford pinnacle I believe this was 94 yep 94 and 86 tops Ron Kittle and the 88 score, Jim Rice. And 81, Fleer, Rick Schofield. Uh, there's a 78, Juan Bernhard. I uh, really didn't corner in the upper right. That's too bad. Other than that, I was in pretty decent shape. Oh, there's that one. Keep on going here. Uh, 89, Fleer, Rick Michelle, uh, 91, Anahara Pena, yeah, 83, Fleer, Blue Subtone, uh, Upper Deck, uh, that one's an Upper, no, it's a score, it's a score master, Ruben Sierra, 1990, and checklist from 81, Fleer, Dave Justice, and Jay Bell. All right, 2000 tops Jay Bell, 1980 Tom Vanzer. And that one looks, that one's in decent shape. That one's in a good shape. So I like that one. Uh, 1980 from the Indians. Uh, Opeachy, 92, Dan Gladden. 87 tops Garth Org. 86 Dunross, Kirk McCaskill. And oh my God. <laughs> Oh, look at the condition of the 75 Jim Nettles. That's too bad. Oh, man. There is a mark there. The corners are... Look at that frame is on this one. Again, this one is maybe a one or a two. <laughs> it's such in poor condition. Come on. Can you give me a little bit better condition than that? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Oh, jeez. And then the dreaded 91 Classics. Uh, yeah, there's not much value in those. That's a minor league player. So, Doug Gladwin. Uh, Gladville, sorry. Uh, and then finally, 1985 Fleer, Jim Presley. Oh, my gosh. That pack was not good at all. Uh, nine left. Uh, I was hoping this to get better, and it's not getting better at all. Oh, man. Let me tell you. We need to find something good and quick. Alan Trammell, there's a decent one. But the eight, 92 Opeaches, they made a lot of them, unfortunately. That's too bad. Alan Trammell, though, very nice. Uh, 91 Upper Deck, Greg Blouser. Uh, 87 Fleer, Willie Randolph. 84. Five Dunross, Wally Backman in good condition. And then another 84 Dunross, which I like. That one is Kelly Paris of the Reds. Uh, John Smoltz, very nice. Uh, that's a 91. Yep, 91. John Smoltz, uh, very nice. Though they made a lot of those too. Uh, Expos, 1975. Don Carthus. 
that one is actually not in bad shape. Um, yeah, it's ding, but 75s were an awful year. They were sensitive, condition sensitive. It is all centered. It's not one that you're going to show pride in, but um, overall, it's not bad. Yeah, you can see it's uh, like on borderline a miscut there. Uh, 438 of down there, the Expos. No, Expos. Uh, that one is 82 Fleer. Uh, Roger Pavlik, 92 tops of the Rangers. And we got 74 Bill Singer. And that one is in decent shape, too. This corner is bent pretty good but um overall for 74 not horrible uh not the best either but not horrible rob deer 89 score diamond kings 1986 of the hawk and dre dawson and he played for the expo so very nice there a 1977 and hey this one's not in bad shape um this is passable it'd be a couple you know corners but you know that one's not bad. Sandy Elmar, that's senior there from the Yankees, so not bad. Uh, 1982, Craig Nettles. And the last one is Kenny Laughlin from Upper Deck Sliding. That's a good shot right there, Kenny Laughlin. That one is uh, 1996, so very nice. Got the copper. I kind of like that one. That one's a good one. Not bad. Let's keep on going. All right, come on. Let's see something good. I haven't seen anything worth getting excited about, that's for sure. All right, 91, the tops, Mike Walker. Uh, hey, Paul Ossemacher from 1986 Fleer. Um, a local resident here in our town, so yes, I know him very well. And next one is a manager card, 1971, uh, Harry Walker. This one's not horrible condition either. There's a bent corner up there, that's for sure. Oh, really bad right there, but it's not as bad as those other 70s ones I got. But still, very I, I grade it very good, I guess. Um, Harry Walker, 312, so in the middle of the series there. Uh, not horrible, but not the greatest shape either. Uh, 1980, Greg Lavelle from the Giants, and that one's in good shape. Well, again, no bent corner there. Uh, 92, Upper Deck, Bud Black, those triple plays, Matt Williams. 87, Tops, Rob Woodard, uh, Upper Deck from the Dodgers there. And 87, Highlights from Tops, Ruben Sierra, youngest player to switch hit homers in a game kind of cool he was good for a couple years rick honeycutt uh 85 fleer and we got sporting news of javi lopez uh all-star well, that's kind of nice one uh that one is 2004 there's the back of that from tops uh barry bonds very nice leaf i believe that's 91 or 90 sorry 90 leaf uh, again, they made a lot of those, unfortunately. But that's a nice card. Always good to get a Barry Bonds. Uh, 82, Fleer, Mike Sosha. And there's some printing run problems in that. But Fleer had that problem back in the early days. Curtis Wilkerson. Uh, funny story about him. When I met I met him, actually. That guy was is crazy. He's a great guy. I saw him down in Florida. Um Great guy. <laughs> Funny as hell. Curtis Wilkerson. And last one is the Fleer Ultra Willie Pena from the New York Yankees. So, yeah. Got a good lot of stories from early 90s when I was in college and that. Wild stories. He was hilarious. Met him. I think I have his autograph too. I'll have to find it. Not now that now that he's bringing me back to my uh, college days. Uh, <laughs> I gotta find that autograph. Ah, uh, Curtis. All right, starting out with the Hojo there. Howard Johnson, ninety-two Opeaches, and we're getting a lot of ninety-two Opeaches in this box. And uh, Domino Ram Ramos from the Cubs, nineteen ninety-one. 87, Dunruss, Mitch Webster. That's in good condition. Ah, oh, very nice. 1985, Dunruss, Lou Whitaker, Sweet Lou. Love my Sweet Lou. One of my favorite players of all time right there. 
That's good to have him. And 85 Donruss is in really good condition. So very nice. Should be in the Hall of Fame, but he's not. It's too bad. He is a great guy. Great player for many years. All with the Tigers. So very nice. Sweet Lou Whitaker. I'm putting him down here, actually. Uh, that's a personal collection save right there. That's for sure. Billy Sample, uh, those 84 Dunruss. I mean, look at those photos. Man, they were good back in 84. Considering 1984, that is sharp. Uh, highlights, King, another King Griffey Jr. So, upper deck again. This one looks like a checklist. It is a checklist from, I can't read that, uh, 1998, it looks like. Another King Griffey Jr. A lot of those side ones there. Uh, 75 tops. Johnny Grubb. This one's in decent shape. That corner's bent, but when that corner's bent too. But overall, the 75s, man, those are hard, hard to uh, get in good condition. That is for sure. That was a tough year. You collectors of the 70s, you know. <clears throat> it's hard. And then you find the minis in those. Even in good condition, it's even harder. Ah, uh, the 82 Fleer, Larry McWilliams, Pirates. Uh, 80, 93 Leaf, Oreos there. And 1974 Pitcher, Bill Hands. Uh, that one's in average condition. Uh, these two corners are really, actually all four are pretty bad. Nothing to be excited about, that's for sure. <clears throat> Another Lance Parrish, this time for 89 score. 86 Dunross, Ray Saraj. I'm killing these names, I know it. You can make fun of me, I don't care. 1977, Tops, Mike Flanagan. And that one's in horrible condition. Man, last box is 71, this box is 77s. Man, look at that. There is a crease all across there. Look at that corner. Creases all up there. I know 77 was a weak year, too. Uh, the paper stock was flimsy. You know, I get it. But, man, it's awful. Oh, can't even, can't even put that in your collection. That's too bad. Very next one is a nice Steve Carlton in action from 82 tops. Really like that one. That's nice. And Willie McGee. Uh, those triple plays. I'm not a fan of triple plays. I'm going to move. Get... A second pile going there. Uh, down to six left here, so <clears throat> I gotta tell you, I'm not impressed. Um, man, I want this to be so good. I, I, I'm trying hard, and <clears throat> it's just not working for me here. <laughs> uh, I mean, there's some good cards, but man, you think we get something? I mean, I got an autograph in the last box, and I ain't even gotten that. I haven't gotten anything older than 71. So if that stays true, I'm going to be very, very uh, sad that, and I probably will never buy these again. But you guys love them, so I'll keep opening them. You guys love them. Um, 1992, Matt Williams from the Giants, Upper Deck. That's a 91 Upper Deck, Kevin Elster. <clears throat> uh, 1987, Brian Fisher. That one has a little ding on it, so it's not in good condition. 1985 Dunruss, Mike Marshall, and then 1984 uh, Dunruss of John Denny. A little afraid in there, but that's still that's still good. I'm glad I'm getting a, at least I'm glad I'm getting 84 Dunrusses. Last box, I don't think I got a single one. Uh, next one is Ivan Pudge Rodriguez. Uh, this play balls. Uh, this is upper deck. I'm doing the old retro. Uh, series there <clears throat> uh that one's from 19 uh, i can't read it uh i don't see a year on it looks like 2000 2000 play ball i'll have to look that one up i don't know the value of that one they're kind of mimicking you know like uh the gypsy queens from tops it's kind of what they're mimicking there you can of tell oh another 1977 <laughs> bad uh, I don't know what to do <clears throat> not even go there another Pirates 82 Fleer Steve Akosha Cal Ripken Jr. 1992 that's a nice one that's a nice picture there of Cal very nice I like that one and 1974 kind of see a theme here 
We get lost 74s, 75s, and 77s. And that one's in horrible shape. That corner's been... Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look how flimsy that is. That is horrible. That is not worth anything. <clears throat> Man. Uh, next up is Don Manley. And score... Steve Sachs, there he is again, my buddy Steve. He is all over the place. This time for 86 Dunruss. Oh, 77. Uh, Jerry Mumphrey. I know I'm being rough. I know I'm being hard. But man, that one's not horrible. The, corner, oh, the corners are bad. They're rounded pretty good. Oh, I mean, I could show you what a uh, good 77 looks like. I got plenty of those. But man, that does not help. Anyone that is trying to build 70s albums, that does not help at all. Uh, 82 tops, Gary Woods, and I'm I'm sorry for being down. It's this this box just uh, ugh, never mind. I'm not gonna go there. 92 Dunross, Jeff Schaefer. I got a ton of those. A 92s. The last year I really started collecting. 92 93s when I kind of stopped. All right, come on. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's uh, get some good cards here. Uh, 91, Todd Zeal, Cardinals. Bill Campbell, the Tigers, 86, Fleer. And we're going to get a 71. And already that corner looks... Uh, Ron Sulcum. Uh, no, it's not in great shape. It's off-centered. It's all this side right here is all frayed. That one's bad. Again, another weak stock. Must have got it from the same collector. They are really flimsy there. It's like going like this. So, um, number 274. Again, it's not in good condition. It's average at best. Ugh. All right, next up is 1980, Dave Collins. So, that one's in good shape, actually. That one's very nice. I like that one. Another 92 OPG, Eddie Murray. And, oh, geez. <laughs> Another triple play with Lee McGee. Man, you got all these cards and you keep repeating ones in a box. Come on, let's get smarter than that. Oh, another triple play with Lee McGee. 87 tops, Walsh Johnson, Doug Jones, uh, upper deck. Uh, that one's 98. And a bubble trammel. He is following me in these boxes and not in a good way. I'd rather have Alan Trammell, but this one is Dunruss Preferred. So there's Bubba Trammell again. He just saw my last box. I had like two or three of them. 97. Uh, okay. 85, Dave Smith. All-star. Tops, Todd Helton. Uh, 1990, Leaf, Jamie Navarro. 89, Dunruss, Frank Pino from the Cubs. And last one is Tino Martinez from Upper Deck. That one is 1998. So, all right, keep on going here. Come on. There got to be something in these last few packs. Because this is so disappointing on so many levels. All right, another 92. Oh, peachy, we're seeing a lot of these. Chuck Knobloch from the Twins. Uh, that's Chris Sable, uh, 91, Upper Deck, those collection ones, uh, 1987, Mark Eichhorn, uh, that one's in decent shape, and 1985, Jim Beatty, uh, Seattle Mariners, that's in good condition for an 85, and an 84, Don Ross, Tom Canelani, Milwaukee Brewers, like those, like that I'm getting, that's the only thing I'm liking this box so far is these 84 Dunrosses. They are good to get. Nice. Tony Gwynn, 1991. Uh, upper Deck. Oh, my gosh. Ay, 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 ay. Uh, 75 Indians. Joe Liss in horrible condition. Look at that crease right there, right down the middle. Crease, crease. Bad corners. Not worth anything. That is so sad. Someone's getting rid of their junk 70 cards, I can tell. I, Wallace Johnson, I think I have him again, 82. Rick Green, 92 tops. Uh, 74 tops. Bill Gugliski, man, I get enough of him. Oh, my gosh. And it's in horrible condition, too. Man. 
Oh, someone that's close to finishing up the 74 set. Those cards are not worth putting in an album. That is for sure. Ugh. Uh, tops. Or, yeah, sorry. Score. I'm losing track. I'm <laughs> seeing some bad 70s cards. Uh, Mike Aldright. 89 score. 86. Hal McRae from the Kansas City Royals. Oh, that one is in good shape, actually. 77, finally one in decent shape. That corner's a little soft, but other than that, that Ollie Brown from the Phillies is in decent shape. It's a common, unfortunately, but 84, 1977 tops. And there's an 82 Rad Carew. We'll take that all day long. Very nice Hall of Famer there. And last one's Defensive Gems, Upper Deck. Omar Vizquel. Look at the back there. That is 1996. Three-time gold glove winner there for the Cleveland Indians. Very nice. That's a nice card. Last three. Come on. Give me some good luck here because these this box has been nothing less than disappointing. <laughs> At least. Ugh. Oh, yeah, yeah, even with a coupon, it wasn't worth this. All right, next up. Uh, first, uh, Top Stadium Club from 1991, and that is Patrick Lennon from the Seattle Mariners. Uh, collector's Choice there for 91 Upper Deck. Uh, Greg Jeffries, Ruben Sierra, 87, top, or 87 Dunross. Sorry about that. Uh, there's, yeah, we're getting the, you get the 87, 85, 84 combos. We're getting a lot of those. Uh, so there's Ron Reed, Chicago White Sox. Uh, that one's in good condition for the 85. And Rick Dempsey, a little off-centered there. But again, 84, you can't complain about 84 Dunruss. I will not complain about getting 84 Dunruss. And what is this? This is a 1990 Topps Nolan Ryan. And that has a stamp on it. Fanfare. I will have to look that one up. This one's thicker too. Oh, this is a reprint. Obviously, this is a reprint. Yep. Um, I will have to look that one up. All tops, all time favorites. Um, that's a reprint of 1990. So I'm trying again. Small rain down there. Looks like 2001. Let me get my handy dandy. Magnifying glass out, as you know. 2003, so it's a reprint. We'll look that one up. We'll give the price on that one. Soft corner, uh, 2003 and a thicker stock. That's a thick stock card, too. It has a ding corner. That's too bad. And we're back to our 75s. This one's in good shape. I will take this one. That one's worth keeping, actually. 1975 Padres, Vincent Romo. Um... There's one soft corner, but man, that is in good shape. I'll take this one all day long. I mean, if you give me these in this shape, I mean, I'm not going to complain too much about a, a soft corner because that's 75. You know, it's a condition sensitive year. It, 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 that one's a very nice one. That one's going over there. That one's a good one. 82, it's Fleer, Brian Smith, uh, those Spanish cards of Larry Walker. Um, uh, don't know the value of those. I didn't even know they made the Spanish cards, but obviously they did. That's my third one. 1974, Chuck Seabach. Seabach. Uh, that one's in not in great shape for 74. Uh, the upper corners are bent. <clears throat> I'll see if I have him in my album. Uh, Gerald Perry, 89 score, 86 Donruss, Phil Bradley. 1977, uh, tops, Bill Traver, Travers, and not in good shape. Yeah, it's awful. That bat, there's a crease in there, crease in there. Very bad corner, bad corner. Uh, oh, there's an Alan Trammell. Hey, we'll take that. 1982 Alan Trammell. Better than the Bubba's. <laughs> Some of that follows the Tigers. Uh, Bubba Trammell didn't mount them much, but Alan Trammell sure did. Hall of Famer. 1982 tops in good condition. That's going over there. <clears throat> Jeff Robinson, 1990 tops. There we go. Last two packs. I'm going to set that box aside. This has not been a memorable box, that's for sure. I think my other box was better than this one. <clears throat> you know, in those Horde 71s, I had some 
good players. This half box is not producing a thing. <clears throat> All right. And we start out with a 1990 Carney Lance for Fleer. Lenny Harris in 92 tops. Uh, Wade Boggs, Pinnacle. And those very chromey ones. Museum collection. Yeah, I think those were the... I have three types of ones. And that's, I think, the middle one. That one has a little value to it. We'll set that aside. <clears throat> League leaders, upper deck collector's choice. Roger Clemens and John Smoltz. 87 tops, Jeff Sellers. <clears throat> yeah, those... 91 Studios, Ricky Jordan. Very nice there. 1984 Dunross, Bob Shirley. That's in good condition. Like I said, I'll take those all day long. <laughs> 92 Delano De Shields, getting a lot of these Opeaches. Craig Reynolds, 89, Upper Deck. Ben Zorbs, Zorbs. That is a 2012. 2011, off one year. Not bad. <clears throat> David Wells and the Tigers, those tops finest. I did not collect these. I mean, those were, back in the day, those were so expensive. I Again, I think they produced a whole ton of them. Um, I don't even know if they, I think they may have had the protective, you know, sheeting. I don't know if it was that one or a different one from tops. Um, I'll have to look that up. Um, but, Nice tops, finest David Wells, <clears throat> eighty-six tops. Steve Briz Bad Rosen. Ah oh, man, killing some of these names. Sorry about that, people. Eighty-eight tops. Uh, Mark uh, Mecklemore from the Angels. Not seen many eighty-eights in here. Nineteen eighty. Jim Morrison that is in good condition. Uh, very soft corner there, but other than that, that one is a keeper. <clears throat> And 1978, Ed Figueroa, 78. Uh, corners are in here are average. Uh, that might be worth keeping, too. That one's not bad. Ed Figueroa, 78 tops. Last pack, everyone. Hope you enjoyed this break, even though I'm disappointed. I mean, literally, I have not gotten anything older than 71, which is sad i anyone else get a half box of these let me know if you had the same disappointment or if you had a good buy half box this half box has been nothing but disappointing <clears throat> besides the 84 dunruss um i mean that's all i mean the keepers are not that great so here's the last pack let's see if we can find one from the 50s or 60s even i mean we have nothing older than 71 <clears throat> All right, we're not starting out good here with the 2004 Indians tops, uh, Eric Wedge, and a potential nose picker there. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Someone got caught in the act there. Not the best picture to <laughs> highlight yourself in, that's for sure. <laughs> 1990 Eric Show Leaf, uh, DJ, DJ Dozier. Uh, he was supposed to be a hot prospect. I don't think he mounted, mounted to much. 1991, Upper Deck. Tim Raines. Uh, 1981, Dunruss. There's some printing damage there, unfortunately. Uh, a soft corner there. But other than that, nice card there, Tim Raines. Uh, nice. Uh, the 1992, Upper Deck. Sean Dunstan. Uh, nice Wrigley Field there, Marquee. Love that. Love going to Cubs games, as you know. Uh, 1991, Tops, Robbie Thompson. <clears throat> and 1989, Tops, Mr. Marlboro Man himself, Jim Leland. And nice, 1976, Rene Stanett from Pittsburgh Pirates. And it is not in good condition, unfortunately. Uh, it's chewed up right there in the corner. Or... On the edge and back corner there. That's too bad. Oh, yeah, that side, too, is also bad. Not a good car for 76. 1981 uh, Fleer, John Mayberry. Nice. Gary Carter, 1985 Fleer. And we're going to, nope, I thought we were going to do the Dunruss run again. 87 Dunruss, Mike Laga. 1986 Tops, Marvin Wynn. Uh, upper Deck there, Tigers, Brian Muller. 
A nice Carlton Fisk, 1982 All-Star card, and it is in good condition, so that's a keeper. And the last one is Stadium Club, Denny Martinez, Top Stadium Club, 1996. So I did not see that design. That's a nice design. I'll have to look into 96 Stadium Clubs. That's a very nice one, though, Denny Martinez. Um, so that's it. You saw it. I'll kind of uh, go through this, kind of go through what highlights I had. There weren't that many, I don't think, unless I'm mistaken. But I know my card's pretty good, and there was not that many in here. Um, some Ken Griffey Jr. side cards. Yeah, okay. Um, no major hits whatsoever. <laughs> There's a lot of commons from the junk wax era. I mean, my gosh, there's so much junk wax. Look at that. There's a print and run on that one. Man, junk wax, junk wax. A lot of junk wax in there, but we'll go through it. I will uh, bring the highlights out. I will show the, the retro vintage cards um, and then any hits I find. We'll be right back. All right, finished that break. Got everything sorted for that uh, Repax Wax Box. And uh, let me tell you, this was not that fun of a break. <laughs> there was not many uh, finds in this box. And uh, I was scraping to find the highlights. So I'll quick go over everything here. So I just kind of categorized everything. This is the Tops Vintage, um, as you can see here. The oldest stuff I got was 71s. Um, and even these were not the greatest in shape. Better than the last box I got, that's for sure. But there's Bent Corner. And Mike Nagy is good. That's probably the only one that's probably salvageable in this whole thing. Uh, that's 70, that has a really bent corner there. You know, when you go through these, they're just average at best. I mean, no stars at all. Just commons nothing big i mean these 75s are horrible that vincent romo is actually a good shape that will actually go on my album because that is in good shape but man when you get some of these cards i mean this tony kubek is totally bent there uh jim nettles there's a marking right there um it's look at that the corners are just horrible i know 75s are condition sensitive but man these are not that great a shape whatsoever i mean i can get stuff other places and get better quality cards than this and pay that you know i think i paid like 50 bucks for it see there's that Vern rule the with the stain on it i mean duffy dyer has some major corner issues the 80s when you get to the 80 1980 you get a little better here but um that's the vintage i broke it up there's tops there's don ross i did get a quite a few uh 84 Don Rosses, which I'm glad. I love 84 Don Ross. It's one of the best sets in the 80s, I think. Uh, the, the quality of the pictures are awesome for 1984. There's Fleer, there's Score, there's Upper Deck. Um, going through the hits here, like I said, there weren't that many. You'll see, you saw it through most of the um, videos, but uh, there's a 1993 Cal Ripken Jr., so that's nice. Uh, that 2003 uh, fan favorites, Nolan Ryan, uh, that has a couple bucks to it, uh, representing the 1990 design there. And then Dunross, I think that's where I got the most hits from, was from Dunross. This was kind of was a lot of Dunross on here. So Tim Raines, unfortunately, there's a printing error there. You can see that. Uh, that's his rookie card, So, but still very nice, 1981s. Those 81s are hard to get to in good condition. 84 Donruss, Reggie Jackson with a smile there. I like that card. Uh, it's it's above a common, so, you know, it's a semi-star as a star rating. So I pulled that out. It was very nice. A couple of Leafs here from uh, 1990. Dave Justice rookie card, so very nice there. Pulled that out. And a Barry Bonds. You can never go wrong with Barry Bonds there uh, with the 1990 Leaf. And then two more from 87 Donruss. I don't know why I put these in order, but Roger Clemens there. Again, he was in my last box, and he was in here as 87 in good shape. So we will add that to the collection. And a Ruben Sierra rookie card from 1987. So uh, overall, those aren't horrible. Um, Fleer, let's look at the highlights here. 1982 Mike Sosha rookie card. Unfortunately, not, again, 
Another printing error. Those early 80s from Fleer, Dunruss, and them. They just had quality issues. The photo looks like something they took from uh, one of the cameras I had back in the 80s. It's just blurry photo right there overall. Just not the best photo. But it's a Mike Sosha card, rookie card, so we'll take it. Uh, 1992, Nolan Ryan. Again, a lot of, quite a few Nolan Ryans in here. Uh, that was in the book as a high-valued one, uh, even though they printed a ton of 92 Fleers. Uh, 2000 uh, Fleer Ultra, Josh Beckett. Um, it's his rookie card. It had a little value to it, so I thought I'd bring that up. Um, underscore. Uh, these are 89s, not much value to these, but Don Manley, um, you know, higher-end person. Ozzy Smith. Um, and then that 95 Pinnacle Wade Boggs, it's a, it's a museum collection, so I added a little value to it. Um, they made the regular, and then they made the museum collection. I think that's what the fancy uh, top is there, kind of foily looking. So that adds a little value to it. And then from Upper Deck, there's 1991 20 Gwen there. So very nice card there. Uh, so I added that to it as well. Um, I also got quite a few Ken Griffey Jr. cards. So there is a Home Run Hero Ken Griffey Jr. card. Um, I think that's from 1992. Uh, checklist uh, from 1999 of Ken Griffey Jr. So there's that. And then this weird Moo Town Snackers. Um, Ken Griffey Jr. And I finally was able to open it. Uh, there was an opening there. So there's that. Um, 7 and 24. Uh, there's actually a little value to this, so it's kind of those oddball ones. I collect Ken Griffey Jr. cards, um, so that's kind of a unique one. That's going to go in my uh, personal collection. And then finally, there's a, a couple from my personal collection I just pulled out. Uh, Alan Trammell from 1982 Tops. Very nice, so I will add that to my personal collection. Uh, 1985 Dunruss Lou Whitaker. You can't go wrong with both of those guys. The best double play group and all of baseball my personal opinion yeah you'll probably argue with me but Lou Whitaker and a little trammel there so that's 85 done Russ and then lastly I pulled this uh Ryan Sandberg uh 1992 OPG not huge value but um still add it to my personal collection there because I don't think I have that one I don't have OPG I didn't really collect them and I know they made a ton of those in 92 they made a ton of stuff in 92 period so that is it. That is the Vintage Repax Wax uh, Vintage Baseball Cards and the Wax Wrappers. It's that half box. Uh, my first video was a full box. This was a half. Like I said, I probably won't be opening these up again. <laughs> just, I just, I'm not seeing any value in here. Uh, you get a couple of good stars, but other than that, I got nothing. I absolutely got nothing. And I did order some 19, the 70s. They're coming out of the 1970s. So it's nothing but 70s, which I, you know I collect a lot of. So um, we will be opening that here in the near future. And, hey, thank you for watching. Um, hey, subscribe to my channel if you like my videos, like my reviews and all that. Uh, leave a comment what you think. Did I get a good deal? Do you think you agree with me? Is it trash or what? Leave a comment about that as well. Um, I appreciate your feedback on it. And it just helps me more on my videos as well. And give it a thumbs up. So, hey, Retro Robbie here signing off. And remember, collect what you love.